What is up guys, it's Mel and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am so sorry that there wasn't a live stream today. I was supposed to play some more Death Stranding, but there's work being done, done on the house. And uh, by the time they left, time I made dinner, I just didn't have the energy or the time to do a live stream. But there's two live streams coming up this week. Uh, more Death Stranding. I'm also going to be doing um guardians of the galaxy afterwards and then we're jumping on to an all day lords of the fallen the first one before the second one comes out so i'm super excited about it um so i already downloaded ready to go uh, and i'll continue doing polls so you guys can tell me what games you would like to see but first we're going to be reacting to black myth wukong now i'm sure i am so sure that i reacted to the official trailer on one of my other channels a couple of years ago now and i remember it blowing me away so i do remember seeing it uh there's an official in-game cutscene that was released and i want to do a reaction to it and also there is an eight minute gameplay video that i also want to react to if you're new to my channel hi i'm mel i'm a twitch reactor and streamer as well as on youtube be sure to subscribe, it's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. I hope you guys enjoy the video and without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Yeah, I think this was made on Unreal Engine 5. Um, but I was blown away by it. There's another game that's sort of like this, except the protagonist isn't a, isn't a monkey. Uh, a monkey warrior. The li everything about the graphics these days in terms of Unreal Engine 5 is insane. Someone is making remaking a Ocarina of Time. Yo 听说以前都还有些本事<笑> 我们还不是一辈子<笑> 姐姐母亲是老糊涂了更不论强弱输赢，都是机缘巧现编织的宿命。姐姐，你们到底是多久之后才会回来？So one of them had a spider. I'm wondering if one of them is a spider boss. 自然，absolutely stunning。也参不透他今日的痴心。是不那边？走一步看一步吧。借来的福分，能多想一日，也是好。
I think Unreal Engine 5 will be the last in terms of like graphical advancements because everything looks amazing these days. The attention in detail, like, you can't even tell what is a cutscene anymore because it just blends in really nicely on certain games, not everyone yet, because most games don't really take advantage of Unreal Engine 5 yet. But the ones that do, it's just absolutely insane. I like that it was like a spider web. Really interesting. But they could be spider spider demons. Okay, it's really, I mean, first of all, it's absolutely stunning. I don't think, like I said during the video, I don't think that we'll have many more advancements in terms of, you know, graphics and stuff. It's really interesting to see how we went from, you know, like, because I'm a 90s baby, so growing up, you know, with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro and Final Fantasy and things like that, and then you jump to PS2 and then... You know, the, it was pretty much flat faced graphics, and then PS3 it was a little bit more lifelike. PS4 halfway there, now PS5 it's just, you know, it's just the right move. I watched someone on YouTube, I can't remember their name, uh, but they have recreated huge sections of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Unreal Engine 5, and have added dialogue, like English dialogue, to the characters, not to Link, but to like Jabba Jabu and uh you know princess ruto and our father and you know just all of, all of these characters and it's absolutely mind blowing how they're able to create these worlds and yet nintendo won't hire these people and it's the same with any company let let if there's a youtuber out there that shows what they are capable of doing hire them you know because chances are they can make the game better than you can ever make it uh, obviously, for some people, it's not about the graphics. I get that, but graphics do help, especially if you're spending hundreds of pounds or dollars or whatever on a machine such as a PC, a PS5, an Xbox Series X, whatever. You do expect to get your money's worth, so you're not going to, you know, even though people still play like PS1 games and Game Boy Color and things like that, you know, through emulation these days. You know, if you're spending hundreds of pounds on a big machine, you do want the graphics to match that. Uh, you know, so, um, yeah, these people need to be hired. You should see the worlds that these YouTubers create. The ones that are into graphic design, you know, they create their own musical versions, uh, you know, of the, uh, of the orchestral pieces for, you know, either Zelda or Sonic, uh, you know, things like that. Hire these people, you know, it could change the gaming industry. 
because yeah we've got great minds behind you know zelda and mario and sonic and spyro and crash and witcher and all of these games but i feel like if you were to choose someone who isn't a part of the game industry but loves creating these worlds just for us to see you know it could be a demo just running around or you know anything like that hire them and just let them be the next advancement in the industry it is it's important you know because these people create like just the worlds alone you wouldn't even think that that was all Korean of time with the way they've done it it's just absolutely stunning if i do find out who i'm talking about i will leave the link in the description box please for the love of god check this youtuber out there's a couple of them that work on zelda uh, type games uh, you know, they just create demos, it's what they love doing, and, you know, they do their own, they do everything on their own, you know, and then they bring in, you know, people to do the voiceover work for, you know, again, these characters. I think, because here's the thing, you know, we've seen games like Cyberpunk and, you know, other games that were supposed to be, like, graphically amazing, you know, great story-wise and things like that. If you were to hire these people, like, just random YouTubers that know how to do this, Games like Cyberpunk 2077 and other games would have been just absolutely AAA, top notch, 10 out of 10 perfect. Um, you know, because these people are making, you know, these projects from the heart. I think that, you know, obviously we know from the gaming industry, it's all about greed, just like any industry. A lot of these companies that make video games for us don't care about us, they care about the money. You know, they're providing a service. And, you know, we're the consumer, you know, the only thing they care about is, you know, reaching out of our pockets, which is pretty sad because even though the worlds they create are beautiful, some of the people that used to work on these games are now either, they've either passed away or, you know, they've moved on to other things. And then the projects they make afterwards don't really have that same, you know, hit. It's, it's, it's really sad. But, um... Yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe, comment, like, share, um, or not. It's completely up to you. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you get any insight, if you want to play this game, uh, you know, did you enjoy the cutscene? What are you hoping the bosses may look like? Obviously, we got a little look see. Uh, and you're right off the bat. You know, as soon as they showed the spider that it was going to be a spider demon, um, you know, because they're rife in mythology. Uh, you know, take Arachne for instance. You know, he was turned into a spider by Athena. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there around. Sorry, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and I just found out that this week, uh, no, last week was my YouTube channel's birthday. This YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, two years, two years old. And I've been on, the, I've been on YouTube for 13 years, but you know, this gaming channel's been out for two years on the 26th but i didn't add content until two years ago today i think so yeah it's it's pretty nuts and i've got you guys to thank for getting me to where i am thank you just for watching my content i'm not a youtube partner i don't make money but you know you guys watch my content you become a part of the channel and you know it's been amazing so thank you for your continued support i hope you guys have an amazing day please stay safe out there the world still sucks take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys in the next one bye